What is Dental Year? Dental Year is the leading marketing app in dentistry. Created by marketers, this resourceful platform helps your dental practice in a variety of ways. Content inspiration, real-time marketing ideas, tips on ROI with your current methods, fresh resources, and lots more. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this webinar slash buzz podcast episode called 23 Dental Marketing Recommendations for New Patients in 2023. Every year at the beginning of the year, we like to do a, a video to talk about some fresh trends, topics, tips, and really recommendations that will help your practice stand out in totally unique ways. As everyone listening knows, it's super competitive out there in terms of ranking, in terms of branding, in terms of click-through rates on Google Ads. It's crowded, especially for local dental practices. So these 22 recommendations are based on years of experience combined with what we're seeing today with most offices, what they need most. And we could have, uh, there could be 200 tips and recommendations, right? But we're gonna do 23 today and we'll go from there. So thanks for tuning in and let's get into it. The first tip is to develop a beautiful website that's focused on conversion rate optimization. This is the key, right? The, the CRO is the percentage of visitors to your website that actually book an appointment and become a patient. Because at the end of the day, that's so important. That's what, that's what matters, right? And just for context, the average CRO for most industries, it could be e-commerce, pizza, hotel, whatever, is one to 3%, right? So if you've got 100 visitors, one to three customers, clients, patients, whatever. Seems very low, but if you have some strategery and you do things very stealth mode, maybe it could be 5%, 10%. And just think about it. If you maintain your current spend on marketing and advertising, same amount of traffic, but if all you did was double or increase your CRO rate, it'd be a total game changer. So I'm going to give you just a few recommendations that will have the greatest impact. First and foremost, focus on the above the fold or header section of your website, right? Those header images that you choose are so important. You really want to have the subjects or subject in these header images. Hopefully it's you or a team member, you and a patient looking towards the call to action buttons. So let's say if you're a dentist listening, you're sitting on the left screen and you're looking across the screen in an operatory to your patient. You guys are looking at each other. Well, in between your eye lines, you would then put the call to action button, book my appointment or book my experience. That will in turn direct the attention of your website visitors to your desired call to action. Very important, okay? Besides your CRO uh, and your header images, you know, have rotating images, preferably custom unique images. Make sure the colors of your website match your overall brand and the vibes you're putting out there, right? Be very strategic about the colors you're choosing, right? If you wanna have a nice zen, calm, relaxing atmosphere, maybe purple and some greens or light blues, okay? Invest in beautiful imagery, right? Premium stock images are totally fine, but just make sure at least 50% of the images, hopefully more on your website are unique in nature. Your practice, your technology, your team, so important, okay? The UX, the user experience of your website, it's easy to navigate, right? When someone lands in your homepage, they, they know how to learn about financial options or learn more about cosmetic dentistry and how to book an appointment. Okay, really important. Now the key is always be looking at your Google Analytics and you wanna see where visitors are coming from and where visitors are going because the data doesn't lie. Just make sure on a monthly basis with your marketing person, marketing team, marketing agency, look at the analytics, figure out, okay, what's our bounce rate? How long are people staying, right? If, they're, if it's short, are they not staying long? What's the issue? After they come to the homepage, where do they go, okay? Now, along with those header images on the homepage, make sure you add trust signals to the top of the website. Now, these could be, let's say you're a member of AACD, right? You're an accredited fellow. That logo should be really at the top of the homepage directly at, under the header section. 
If you're a member of the Clear Aligner Association, which seems like a really cool association, make sure to put that in there. If you're looking to do more holistic types of dentistry, if you're a member of the Holistic Dental Association, that's a really strong trust signal for patients that are looking for those types of services. Now, you also wanna to link to those associations your profile page. So like, let's say you have a profile on AACD, somewhere on the website, on bio or somewhere else, make sure you could click, a patient could click on that logo and then open up a new window, a pop-up and go to your profile on AACD, right? Um, obviously for SEO purposes, you know, you want to make sure that your images are compressed, your videos are compressed and adding more video on your website, quality uh, video on your website will increase the, the, the website duration as well. And that'll be hugely important for increasing your conversion rate optimization. So, you know, the average time spent on a website for any industry is around 15 seconds. For your dental website, it should be at least over one minute. We have some websites well over two minutes. And so there's a direct correlation between the time spent on the website and the conversion rate optimization, right? Just think about if um, someone goes to a car dealership, right? If they're there for five minutes and then walk out, odds are they didn't buy a car. Well, if they're there for two and a half hours, they probably bought a car, right? So you want to keep people on the website long because in turn, you'll have higher CO rates. Lastly, before we move on, make sure the loading time of your website is super, super fast. Now, if you're not sure if yours is fast, Go to gtmetrics.com, that's G-T-M-E-T-R-I-X.com, drop in your domain name and look, or Google has a free tool. Just make sure it's in that B plus A range. Now, once in a while, things will get slow, but on a regular basis, you should be in that A range. And if it's not, it's probably hurting your SEO and ranking purposes, okay? Um, there's other tools out there like SEM Rush but you just want to have a regular maintenance report on your website to make sure there's no issues with meta tags and descriptions, cache issues, HTML problems. Um, so there's so many factors for conversion and optimization, not only the header section and call the action buttons, but also some backend optimization things. So make sure those are cranking along properly. All right. Number two, publish an ebook. Right? We're doing this a lot for some of our clients now. We're crafting an ebook and publishing it for the dental services they really want to attract more patients for. This could be for dental implants, smile makeovers, Invisalign, and other searches, maybe dental sleep apnea. And having this free downloadable ebook on your homepage really establishes you as an expert in the field. It's a great lead generation tool. And also you could print out these copies or get them made with through a self-publishing platform like Blurb or anywhere else and give them out to patients at your office. Um, and so you could write this on your own, hire someone to write it for you, um, or find an agency out there that does eBooks for dental practices specifically, but make sure it's customized for your practice. So add the right images that represent your office, your logo, the doctor's names, all these things. If you're talking about financial options or insurance, Make sure that really reflects what you're offering at your practice because every ebook is going to be different for every practice. Even though a lot of offices do implants, the messaging is going to need to be edited. So make sure you have someone who's a really great talented writer. So we feel having an ebook is strong. Share that across social media, share it on email newsletters, and it's a really nice differentiator for your dental brand. Tip number three create engaging fun and unique content for your social media profiles on a daily basis yes i said daily this is like showering it needs to be done every day or twice a day right we believe that all brands are built on social media right instagram carousel posts and reels are really huge on there right now if you're exploring TikTok, great use it before it gets banned facebook organic reach is way up also paid ads and Instagram and Facebook are really, really powerful, more so now than ever, because Facebook's really trying to give advertisers ROI on the spend. So make sure you're posting regular content, daily content across your social media platforms. Very interesting what's going on with Twitter, Twitter now. It should be interesting to see what happens with them long term, but they might be an interesting ad play for you at some point. LinkedIn, organic reach on there is very high. We recommend you choose like the one social media platform that your team loves. Let's say it's Instagram, probably it is, right? For most dental practices, we'll craft that content for Instagram and then just repurpose it on other platforms, however you deem appropriate. But instead of trying to be 
okay at eight different platforms, be incredible at one platform and choose the one platform your team or your marketing person really feels comfortable using. So there's never any issues with uploading content properly because that's really a problem. We find a lot of the time doctors or team members have really cool content. They just don't know how to optimize it or upload it properly. So make sure whichever social media platform you're using, you love it and you know the ins and outs. Um, shameless plug, Dental Year is our mobile app. So if you're, you know, thinking all the time, what do we post? What do we post? Our app, Dental Year, which is now free for all members, users, that's great. You can download it on iOS or Android. It tells you the daily fun holiday, the daily fun food holidays, weekly team exercises. So there's a lot of ideas on there to help with your social media initiatives. All right, number four. Produce your own web-based show. We feel that like every practice should think of themselves as a production company now. You need content, educational-based content. You might even want to hire a full-time director of photography and film high-end broadcast quality content weekly, monthly, or whenever you can. We really feel that most practices, if you have the, have the bandwidth, should have your own show. Now, here's a few web show ideas uh, to produce. We're doing some of these for some of our clients, uh, but here's some general ones you can work on. So one could be Ask the Dentist, right? A Q&A show where patients can submit their dental questions and the dentist answers them on a show. Very easy. Another one could be Dental Tips and Tricks, a show that provides practical advice and information on maintaining good oral health, such as proper brushing and flossing techniques and the importance of regular dental checkups. Another idea could be calling a show Smile Makeovers, right? This is a show that follows patients as they undergo various dental procedures, such as teeth whitening, veneers, and orthodontics to improve their smiles. How about Dental Myth Busters, a show that debunks common misconceptions about oral health and dental procedures. I like that one. How about behind the scenes with our practice? This could be a show that takes viewers on a tour of your dental office, introduces the team, and basically explains the different types of procedures and technologies you're using. If you're a pediatric office, how about Kids Corner with our pediatric dentist? This is a show that provides dental education for kids, but in an entertaining and interactive way, such as animated videos, games, and storytelling. We're doing a great show um, for this one of our best buddies uh, in Orange County, Jack. It's called What Would You Do Doc? And this is a recurring web series where he just answers the question, what would you do if I chip my teeth? What would you do if I want a smile makeover? What would you do if I don't have insurance? All these types of questions, right? Another practice, we're doing a Wednesday wisdom show. Mike is sending us a Wednesday wisdom clip. It's only like a minute or two but it's so great he sits on the same couch in the reception area every episode with his logo on the wall behind him we repurpose this on his website youtube instagram facebook linkedin it's a powerful initiative because we're guaranteeing a nice new video every week and we're getting a lot of nice engagement and comments from his patients and followers so think about doing your own show if you're not great with video maybe just audio tip number five recommendation number five it is to build a local link building strategy. For really strong SEO, you wanna have quality local links pointing back to your website. So there's like over a couple hundred factors that dictate your search engine optimization rankings. That's called PageRank after Larry Page, one of the co-founders of Google. And basically this is one of the things that's really never changed since Google was founded years ago. So many other things are updated, but this is a constant because Google thinks like if you have quality local links pointing back to your website, quality ones, not fake ones that are manufactured on fake press releases overseas, but quality local links, you really can't fake that. So that's a trust signal for the algorithm with Google search to say, wow, let's show this website more frequently. One of the factors. So for instance, if you join the Chamber of Commerce or you're doing sponsorships or you're donating product to an event or you're, you're writing a blog post for your friend who's a chiropractor, local magazines, local directories, all these are opportunities to ask or get the link back to your dental website. Your goal should be to get 
two links per week. I'm sorry, two links per month. Two per week would be amazing. Two per month at your practice should be one of your marketing goals this year. Then you'd have a few dozen local links on your uh, to your website by the end of the year. And that alone will have huge implications in a good way for your website's ranking. Recommendation number six, use Google AdWords. Listen, until Bing and ChatGPT or something else knocks Google out of the, out of the ballpark, it is all about AdWords right now. Besides having great SEO and amazing brand, social media reviews, I do not know of a dental practice in North America that should be not be running Google AdWords. You have to do this to reach a larger audience and drive more traffic to your website. Now, key things to focus on when you're setting up your campaign, by the way, you, you need to work with someone to help you with this. We do not recommend you do your own PPC. Just, you could do a lot of other things, but this, there are so many intricate details to your campaign and one or two wrong settings, it's done. So key things to focus on are the locations, right? I just got off a great call before this recording with a practice that was, we're talking about locations on the settings for the ad words. And really you need to, like your team, your office really understands what zip codes, what areas you should focus. Whether you're in New York City or a small town in the middle of nowhere, you need to work with who's ever managing your pay-per-click to really understand where your patients are realistically coming from. Okay, focus on the keywords, phrase matches, your ad copy, extensions, budgeting, and all these things are important with Google AdWords, but most importantly, make sure you sync them with your Google Analytics so you can look at the data and insights and go, okay, wow, X amount of percentage of our, our traffic's coming from paid versus organic. Then you can track new patient flow, conversion rate optimization, and then hopefully you look at your spend if it's being done properly. And you look at your new patients and you're like, let's spend more. Let's expand our radius. Let's go for more searches. Really powerful stuff. Google AdWords, no brainer if they're being done properly. Number seven, host in office events or seminars, right? We, we love doing these for offices. We have some clients doing monthly events, either on dental sleep apnea, dental implants, smile makeovers, we prefer Saturday mornings, 10 to 11, but some offices don't want to deal with that on the weekends. So some of them are doing them Thursday during lunch or Thursday evenings. It's just an hour. It's a free event. You can market these on Eventbrite or just do a simple Facebook event and invite everyone. Um, so in-office seminars are really great, especially if you're going for higher end cosmetic services. It's a nice way to get some foot in the door techniques with potential new patients who are kind of on the fence about who they should go to because they don't know the team or feel comfortable. This is a great idea. Also Invisalign days are really, really powerful. You could offer specials and promotions if they start on that day. And having Invisalign days is super strong because you could reach out to everyone in your system who was interested in, in Invisalign over the years but didn't start. And this is a great opportunity for you to say, listen, we're having an Invisalign day next month. If you come in, you get 500 bucks off, or you're entered into a drawing to win a free TV, whatever it is, Invisalign days are great. And we did a podcast recently on Invisalign day tips. So there's a few episodes back if you wanna check that out. But uh, highly recommend you start doing in-office events or seminars at your practice. This will really establish you as a leader from a clinical standpoint and help you meet a lot more people that may otherwise have not come to your office. Number eight, use video testimonials to build trust and credibility with potential patients. This is without question the ultimate form of social proof. Video, video, video. As we always talk about, Google owns YouTube, YouTube's the second largest search engine in the world, and video is considered the heaviest form of multimedia content. Having Google reviews is great. Facebook feedback, handwritten uh, thank you notes is great, but the video testimonial is exponentially greater. And we always used to say, make sure you film this at the office in an operatory. So the thumbnails really, it's obviously it's a dental practice. There might be some patients who you ask them to do a video testimonial. They just don't feel comfortable doing it right there. Fine. <laughs> Excuse me. As long as you get the patient release form signed, they can do it on their own. We just got one a couple of days from a patient in a practice. They did it at their house. It looked great. It's just as powerful. 
So however you, however you get these video testimonials, that's up to you, but make sure to focus on video testimonials. We recommend your goal should be two per month, two video testimonials per month. As I mentioned, make sure to get the patient release form signed, only use first name, last night, uh, first names, not last names. And for these, we recommend holding the mobile phone sideways, not vertical, because then you can upload it to YouTube and there's no border on the side. Okay, video, video, video. Alrighty, number nine, leverage the power of chat GPT for content ideas and strategies. Listen, I don't know if you've heard of chat GPT yet. I'm sure most of you have, it's incredible. Uh, this is from OpenAI. This is basically the first time the public's ever had access to artificial intelligence like this. It is extraordinary. We've been incorporating it on our strategy calls with clients recently for content ideas, blog post ideas. Um, today we were at a call, oh yeah, we were talking about, um, actually we were talking about the what would you do doc and we wanted just more fresh questions to ask the doctor. And so it spit out a lot of ideas in terms of questions that patients ask dentists. It's just a great tool. If you haven't heard about it, I'm sure you have already by the time you're listening to this, but if not, look up ChatGPT. It's a game changer and we recommend, you know, AI is going to change not just dentistry, but every field in the world, uh, hopefully more for the good than bad, but lean into this and leverage it for your creativity and content ideas uh, whenever needed. Number 10, use Google My Business and other online directories to improve your visibility and reach local patients. So for our clients, weekly postings at Google My Business, that's what we do. We recommend you touch your Google My Business on a regular basis. If you can't do weekly, do monthly if you're doing this on your own. Make sure your hours are correct. Make sure the links are correct. Make sure you're adding the services and descriptions of your office. You really wanna make sure your Google GMB listing is fully optimized, right? And also another directory that we're really seeing some exciting things with is Nextdoor. It's a platform for the neighborhood and some offices that are that are like the leader in the area for dental practices it's like their number one source of new patients now so perhaps in your area if it's popular look into next door and we're doing some advertising for clients right now next door as well it's awesome love next door number 11 create a trackable referral program to reward and retain your current patients <coughs> so you want to have a referral program in place but also you want to track what's working kind of like your own Viva cards and also add a refer a friend page to your website. So that's a no brainer. And lastly, with this whole referring of patients, you want to get more referrals, obviously as much as possible. Everyone should have a sign in your reception area, a nice little sign that says, you know, we so appreciate your, your recommendations. Our greatest patients are always referred from our existing patients. Right. So allow us to treat your your friends and family the way we would treat our family. Whatever verbiage you want on there, make sure to have a sign in your reception area. Because when people are checking in or checking out, they're obviously going to be like, you know what? I got to refer you guys to more people. I love you so much. Number twelve. Please make sure you don't have any unintentional access to care problems. Okay. You need to check all your funnels, appointment openings, etc. Listen, I, I, it's obvious now. The, the, there's some hiring of team member problems, whether it's front desk, assistants, hygienists, we get it. But you want to make sure you don't have this kind of blockage of new patient bookings, right? Especially if you're using online scheduling, make sure to check that every once in a while. Because the last thing you want is for there, be, for there to be no openings for someone to book. And you're thinking, why isn't the phone ringing, right? Think about a restaurant, right? You know, people are trying to get in Saturday night at eight. If for some reason they didn't make the tables available, no one could book empty restaurant. It's obvious, but we're unfortunately seeing a lot of unintentional access to care problems. Now, if you are using online scheduling, which we highly recommend and we'll talk about in a minute, make sure you're really strategic in terms of the openings and in the availability for new patients. We have found like eight in the morning and 2 p.m. are really good slots or around there. So just make sure you, you have some flexibility and creativity when you're um, trying to get new patients to book because the last thing you wanna do is have like your contact form on your website broken, right? That's an unintentional access to care problem. Someone sends a message to your dental website and you don't get it, that's not good. So unfortunately, a lot of offices think their contact forms are working because they're getting emails. That doesn't matter. 
contact forms through websites are formatted differently. So there's all these little hiccups that could happen on WordPress websites or any website for that matter. Maybe you're not checking your DMs at Instagram, whatever it is. You want to make sure all funnels and all openings and all phone lines are, are working properly so you have zero access to cure problems. Number 13, support your local businesses and network with other professionals in the community because this will generate more referral business. Now, this could be the Chamber of Commerce or BNI groups, but supporting the local community is so strong, especially through like food posts and content posts, right? This week is like National Pizza Week. So if you're ordering a pizza, listen, I mean, don't do Domino's, like order it from like a local pizzeria. Support the local businesses. Get content from there, tag and mention them on social media. Say thank you so much for the great pizza, right? And also go and join your local chamber of commerce. Support the local community. Maybe have someone from your team go to those Friday morning breakfast networking sessions with BNI groups. There are so many interesting, unique opportunities for all offices around the country, around the North America, around the world probably. Take advantage of these because a lot of people aren't. And you would be surprised, even in big big cities if you go to the chamber of commerce website directory and search dentist sometimes there's literally zero members who are dentists in like cities with a couple million people it's crazy so pay them 500 bucks a year just for the link back to your website it's worth the seo juice but then you go get to go to the networking functions and really get some opportunities additionally we have some clients running email newsletters through chamber of commerces having breakfast meetings at their office, having wine mixers at their office. Chamber of Commerce uh, groups are really, really strong and the good ones are amazing at supporting the, their own businesses, their members. So please look into this. All right, number 14, use video marketing to showcase your dental practice and team and to provide valuable information to potential patients. This is different than the patient testimonials. <coughs> Excuse me, this is different than your, your the web idea you should be leveraging video content hopefully a weekly piece of content for instance to add new video embeds to your dental website so go through your dental website every one of your services pages should hopefully have its own unique video porcelain veneers boom give me three minutes talking about porcelain veneers same day crowns give me a couple minutes talking about Sarah right Invisalign your website will rank higher your website duration time time spent website will go through the roof and you'll also get a tremendous amount of new patients because you'll have video content on your website video is considered the heaviest form of multimedia content which i just said so having to spread across your website's huge and then you're going to repurpose this content on social media email newsletters there's an, some amazing ai video creation platforms out there right now that we're using where you could put like a five minute video into this platform and it'll output like 10 or 15 micro content pieces for Instagram, right? So once you have the great long form content to be an hour piece of content, you could use, you could recreate that into dozens and dozens and dozens of other micro content pieces to be repurposed across other platforms. Number 15, invest in professional photography or gear to showcase your smile gallery. Your smile gallery is so key and it's a, using stock images for your smile gallery or graph them from some association i guess it's okay but who wants to be okay if you're doing cosmetic dentistry and smile makeovers have an amazing smile gallery now we recommend sets of four close up of the teeth and uh before and after and a full face before and after also you want to lay these out vertically on the smile gallery so this will encourage people to scroll down more the website instead of all side to side you want to have sets for vertical orientation so people keep scrolling down scrolling down on there you could have a description of the services that these pictures represent and perhaps a little blurb or a snippet of their testimonial of your practice now make sure when you're capturing this content your practice you always want to get the before because you can never go back and get the before but invest in like the right camera or the right lighting so when you're taking these pictures over the years and years and years you'll be practicing you have dozens and dozens and dozens of beautiful sets of four 
before and after picture. This is such incredible content for you, not only for your website and social media, but maybe you wanna have a patient wall of fame at your practice, perhaps a lookbook. Maybe you use them on billboards or local television. You could leverage this content in so many ways and before and after pictures are a game changer. You're providing beautiful, healthy smiles. You need to have a strong smile gallery. Number 16. Use Instagramification in your dental practice for patient generated content. So Instagramification, you ever go to like a, a sexy wine bar or a restaurant or a hotel, and there's like a neon sign on the wall that says, you know, all you need is pizza and love if it's a pizza place. And like, there's a, there's a booth in front of it. Like there's ways to strategize. So and restaurants are doing it amazingly well now, cool hotels and wine bars where they get so much free content every day and every night from their patrons because they're all taking pictures for TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. And the way they do this at your practice, it depends, but we like a smile quote. Neon's making a comeback. I get it. Not all offices, you know, it's not, you're not going to have neon. Maybe you want to have a local artist make a really beautiful smile quote for your wall with the same colors of your logo. Um, anything. There's so many different ways to do this. There was a great article in the Boston Globe a few months ago that said, is your dentist, is your dentist Instagrammable? <laughs> you should look this up. And it was about 10 dental on the East Coast. And it talks about how like all of their locations are Instagrammable because, you know, quotes on the mirrors in the bathroom. And it's just a really cool design and vibe. So every practice should have some type of area where it's not a selfie station. You don't, you, there's, it shouldn't be, you shouldn't have to write on the floor, take picture here. But for anyone who's into social media, media, they should know to stand or sit in front of us and say, can you take a picture of me? Right? Because you're putting out good vibes with these smile quotes and it's really helpful. Um, and they'll check in at your practice. So having Instagramification at your dental office is great for patient generated content and also scalable, free word of mouth marketing. Alrighty, cranking along. Number 17, offer dental membership plans for your patients. No brainer, especially in kind of a weird economy, right? How nice would it be to have like a few hundred members in your system? Boom, 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 boom. Guaranteed revenue for your practice. The patient's happy because they come in a couple times a year for, for, for visits, for cleanings. They get discounts on services. So membership plans are great. Now, if you look at all the publicly traded companies, in a normal economy, most of the publicly traded companies with built-in membership plans have a greater valuation. So cut to your dental practice. When you sell your practice in 30 years, let's say you have 800 dental me members in your system, which practice is going to have a higher valuation? The one with all those members or the one without? Clearly the one with. So not only are membership plans great for generating revenue today and for years, but increasing your practice valuation it will be a game changer if you implement dental membership plans properly. Now, the key word there is if, right? If you're trying to do this manually and on your own, you might bottleneck at like 25 or 30 patients because it's always hard to do this manually. So we highly recommend you implement the best software and solutions for this type of service. We love Clear, K-L-E-E-R, Clear. It's amazing. A lot of our clients use this platform. It's easy to use. Your front desk will love it. It's great to easy to onboard patients. They have a lot of new, um, they just released some analytics things and payment processing to make it easier. Clear is a no brainer. It's a game changer. They also provide you with a lot of in office marketing materials, brochures. You would have a slog URL from your website directing people to your clear page to sign up. Um, so however you're doing memberships, also leverage the power of video content. So do a video talking about this new financial option you have at your practice. You're offering memberships, you you know, a team member or someone to do this and have that on your website, your membership page, share that on social media and promoting your dental membership plans can be a huge, huge win for you moving forward. All right, number 18. Number 18 is discover your chocolate chip cookie. Yes. You know how you go to the Double Tree hotels and they give out your free chocolate chip cookies? I mean, it's so great. It's a sweet idea, right? So what are your patients talking about? What is it? Is it aromatherapy? Is it the music? Is it the vibe? Is it the team? Is it the, the, the 
the VR Oculus Rift you have, they could use where they're sitting in the chair. What are your patients talking about? This should have been number one, to be honest with you, because if you provide incredible, memorable patient experiences for your patients, you'll have scalable word of mouth marketing for years to come. Your existing patients will become ambassadors for your practice. They'll write the review. They'll do the video test. Testimonial. They'll you know follow you on social media, all these things. So discover your chocolate chip cookie as a team, figure out what could you do differently and also brainstorm like what do you like what are some of your favorite businesses? Like what's that your favorite hotel anywhere in the world that you went to? Restaurant. What stores do you love going to? Copy genius, right? Do you like a certain store because the the, the aromatherapy they have? Do you like a certain restaurant because of the vibe of the, the, the wait staff there and how they treat the, ta the approach the table and the conversation? You know, all these things. Hotels, right? I mean, the AC hotels, I think it's genius. They give out, so late at night before you go in the elevator, there's like little sachets of aromatherapy they give away. It's unbelievable. It costs them pennies to do it and it's so nice, right? So find inspiration from your favorite businesses and we like to say copy genius number 19 always have a social media contest running don't just do these quarterly or annually have one running all the time right so as soon as one ends think about the next one and launch it it's always fun to have a contest running so our some of our favorite social media contests are um guessing names so you know that brushing bear that brushing teddy bear that brushes his teeth for for two minutes or her teeth for two minutes um you know, you could take a picture or a video of that and say, what should we name our new furry friend? The name with the most likes, you know, wins the prize. How many tooth quadrants or how many floss dispensers, floss dispensers are in this glass jar? So you put dozens and dozens and dozens of floss dispensers in a glass jar, make sure the picture you take, we can see your office and logo in the background, boost and promote that on social media for a month, and the guess who's closest wins the prize, you know? We like the travel brush and win contest where you ask people to take a picture or a video of themselves brushing them te brushing their teeth uh, teeth on vacation and basically the one with the most votes or the one that you vote on wins a prize so 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 social media contests are fun they're engaging uh you get a lot more organic reach across all platforms so we recommend doing these continu continuously seasonally and it'll be really great number 20. Consider focusing on Bing for more visibility. Now, if you would have told me three months ago, I would have had Bing on my tips for you today, I would have laughed out loud. The reason I'm mentioning Bing is this and this alone. Microsoft owns 49% of OpenAI, which is like what GPT is, who owns ChatGPT. Chat Microsoft rumors has it where they're going to implement ChatGPT into their search engine. What my prediction, if that happens, not if, but when it happens, because they just invested $10 billion, like I stated, Google will be slowly on a decline. Now, clearly Google has DeepMind and they're having their own AI and they're genius and a lot of very powerful, but ChatGPT is so incredible out of the gates in terms of text and copy, where if it's implemented quickly and done properly by Microsoft from Bing, I see it scaling really fast. So we're starting to do this for our websites, our clients' websites is just make sure you're fully optimized on Bing, you, you register with Bing, you know, webmaster tools, it's crawling your website and just have it on the back burner or bring it to the, you know, the front burner right now where not just Google, start trying to rank for Bing as well. Now, do you want to start running ads on Bing? It might be a little premature, but if you're super risk taker and want to budget a little bit this month or next month for it to see how it performs. Why not do it? But I do predict slowly but surely there will be a gradual change in search and not just between Google and Bing. There are a lot of other emerging platforms out there with AI. A lot of people for many, many years have been trying to dethrone Google. And now with the power of AI, machine learning, and basically I don't want to say unlimited computing power, but close to it for the general public people. It's going to be very exciting what happens here. So just stay ahead of the trends. Number 21, leverage online appointment scheduling for easy book bookings. This is a no brainer. I cannot imagine a restaurant today not using OpenTable or Resi 
for the reservation. I mean, it doesn't exist, right? So with your practice, you basically have to offer online booking right now. Now, yes, I understand you do block booking or the front desk have had, has had systems over the years. I get it. Nothing is perfect, but your, pa your patients want this. The public wants this, right? So you could still offer the phone call or text you or send a message to book, but for the people that want to book online right now, book it, allow them. Statistics show that something around 40% of people that use a scheduling widget do it after hours. So that means in the evenings or on the weekends or early morning when you're closed and no one's there to answer the phone or a message, you're going to get bookings as opposed to missed inquiries. It's a no brainer. We highly recommend it. And just like I stated earlier with using the right platform is so important, using the right platform for online scheduling is so important. We love Next Health. It's an incredible platform, stealth mode software, incredible support and team. And not only does Next Health have the best online scheduling feature, they also have online forms and patient reminders and all these things. Now, if you're doing scheduling, you definitely want to do online forms. And having patients fill out the online forms before they come in is really a nice hack, not only to save time, but also to see you who's coming in for sure, right? Because one of the hesitations with online scheduling is maybe they book and don't show up. Well, you know if a patient didn't even open up that online form email or text, could be a red flag. If they open it up and filled it out four days before the patient, well, they probably got straight A's in school and they're probably coming in for the appointment. So if you are implementing online scheduling, make sure to do online forms as well. And once again, Next Health is the clear cut no brainer of a decision to go with with your scheduling option number 22 consider running youtube ads with your most powerful video content so video 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 we talked about the importance once you have some super strong content all you need is really one really strong video run youtube ads this is more of a general branding play but it'll be under your same google ads adwords dashboard youtube ads huge amount of reach and engagement with the right type of ad sets. You'll get the right views, target to certain demographics and certain areas, certain interests. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's a lot of power with YouTube advertising. You know, um, I understand a lot of other, a lot of offices can't do local television or streaming right now, but YouTube advertising is awesome. And um, if you have the right video content, we highly recommend you consider running YouTube advertising moving forward. And number 23, why not work with some local influencers, your, your micro influencers or local celebrities in your community? <coughs> or excuse me, so a lot of your patients have really, really strong followings on TikTok or Instagram. So you should be aware of these patients that do. And as long as you're following strict HIPAA rules and certain kickback rules, and you do this the right way, having influencers post at your practice or post after they get a cleaning or a smile makeover can be really, really great for brand building in your community. So stay on the lookout for not only patients, but other people in your community that you can work with and strategize together, right? Just because copy genius, right? Look at the biggest brands of the world. Uh, they're hiring A-list celebrities and athletes. Now when it's done right, that's super, super strong for that brand or that product. On a smaller level for local businesses, dental practices, working with the right local influencers and micro influencers and local celebrities is awesome. So those are your 23 tips. I got a bonus tip for you because I'm reading this great, um, I, I'm always reading books, right? And like I love reading nonfiction books, business books, books on creativity, idea flows, anyway. I got a hack for you that I've been working on. Uh, this this book gave me recently, and basically it's so you're always coming up with these ideas for marketing your dental practice or practice management or whatever it is for your business. And sometimes, you know, I don't know what your filing system is for your idea flow, but like if you have a notes app on your phone or you send yourself an email, at least for me personally, it's not a great system. So carrying a pen and a paper literally everywhere with you and always documenting and writing down your ideas right away when you get it is a game changer. It's so important. And I just wanted to share this with you because it's new year, new ideas, and this is a bonus of 24. And so carry a pen and paper. You go to the gym, 
right? You, you, you're going out for coffee. You're going for a walk around the block. Carry the pen and paper with you. Write it down. And then in the evening, you'll have your own process to either, you know, cross off the list or send yourself a note, put it in your CRM or have some type of, or, you know, organizing process. That's up to you. But just having the pen and paper is such an amazing hack. I just wanted to share that with you because, you know, you might have some ideas from this podcast or reading a book or, you know, whatever it is, going to Lululemon, right, with our bags. So there's all these ideas we have every day to grow the business and with marketing and just write these ideas down, share it with your team, and this will help you record it, remember it, and implement it. And if you do that, you'll have way more dental marketing success moving forward. So, all right, big thanks to everyone for tuning in to 23 Dental Marketing Recommendations for new patients in 2023. Wishing everyone an incredible year that's filled with smiles. And if you follow some or all of these recommend recommendations, it without question, be a wizard of buzz and have huge marketing success this year. Last note, remember to download the Dental Year mobile app. It's free now with uh, downloads available on iOS and Android. And if you have any questions about these recommendations or anything else regarding our dental marketing services at Dentainment, feel free to send me an email, brad at Dentainment, or you can book a complimentary digital footprint consultation. If you go to dentainment.com, we set up a 45 minute complimentary digital footprint consultation. And we talk about your unique specific marketing opportunities and needs to see if there's a fit. And if not, we'll just give you recommendations and you can roll with those. So thanks again and uh, have a wonderful day. That's Phil Blitz Maps. If you're looking for more reach, engagement, and conversion with your dental practice marketing, download the Dental Year app today.